Hi, family. I wanted to stop in. I want to talk about what is happening and what you should be looking for. Yes, I still believe a massive rally will happen down the road. And this was the big catalyst, yes or no, that we were looking for to get it started sooner or later. And now, obviously, after what we saw with the inflation numbers, we know it's going to be later. Now, I'm going to get into all that. But before we do, of course, make sure you take advantage of the free shares of stock down below with Moomoo. Click the link right below the video. Put 100 or more in. You're going to get nine free stocks because that's what I that's what I agreed with them. And it could be worth up to 20000 for my viewers per depositor. So make sure you take advantage of that. And then, of course, I do have the Weeble link where you can get $1 in Sign up using the link. You get up to 12 free stocks and they have crypto over there, such as Ethereum, which we're going to talk about. Now, we move into just the bloodbath today. Everything is happening. Watching the portfolio get just, just hit hard. And don't even talk about the leverage portfolio. Days like this, remember the losses are times three. Now, that's what we're going to discuss. Now, what is happening? Let's take a look right now at the markets because we're in power hour and power hour is not power hour it is pain hour and you can see the pain check it out but what is this what is going on neo in the green for all i know there's a ton of bears out there that shorted neo you should be scared scared to death because right now you're having almost a five percent drop in the nasdaq and yet neo neo is up today look at the five days to boot 33 percent. i don't know about you but this is screaming one thing this might have legs and so i did want to start out with a little positive there as well as a, another one here we had the synovus energy not that it's gr great positive only down one percent great pe so i still like that as well watching the oil and everything else now what are we watching for because i showed this a little bit earlier and it was i believe 84 percent now you're saying what what is this mo this is what we need to key in on this is what's driving the market today for everyone that doesn't know i'm putting my teacher cap cap on and we're going to talk about it this is the target rate probabilities for the meeting next week and this is from the Fed. And right now, you can see right here, it says 225 basis points and 250 basis points. 2.25% to 2.5% is the Fed rate. This is what they're predicting now. So this dropped from 84% to 76. You might be like, wasn't that good? No. It actually got the odds of only a 75 basis point hike actually dropped. And now there's more of a 100 basis point hike possibility. If the Fed goes with the 100 basis point hike, Ex just expect more red, more bloodshed. It's going to get uglier because they don't have it fully priced in, but they do have a fully priced in 75 basis point. And now they're actually pricing in even more aggressive Fed. Does the Fed go 100 basis points? I don't think they do because they had other opportunities to do that and they haven't. I think they'll go 75 basis points. But if they do, I expect some green because they're priced in even more aggressiveness. So they wouldn't be as aggressive as they're pricing in. And that's when I would expect the market to actually come down or go up a little bit. We'd actually see some comeback. And that's what we're watching for. So as we look and you're thinking, what's happening? The next big thing, of course, Friday, a lot of options expiring. That's a whole different ball game. But after that, you also had the Fed meeting. So two big actions are going to happen over the next few days. And I'm going to tell you what, they're going to have a major impact on the markets. Is the Fed going to come out and actually give us some good words of encouragement and try to keep these things where they need to be or no? So as we can see, I had a little brief cut there. The magic of the camera I had a phone call I had to take. My mother was calling me. You never let your mom hang on the phone. So as you can see, power hour I believe is about halfway through now, and we can see the market is now down 5%, which is absolutely ugly. And look at this crash down. I was waiting. I was going to buy today, and I thought, you know, I've seen this many a times where we see it, and it just collapses by the end of the day. And you can see a lot of people out there watching that thing collapse down, and that's what we're seeing. So what's the big thing to watch for? Let's see if this is changing. I'm going to guess without even checking. I haven't checked yet, but I'm going to guess that this is going to go lower. This is going to increase because we're seeing the markets collapse a little bit more. And let's see if we were right or wrong. And we were right. There it is, 68% down. And you can see that the odds of a 
full point. A full 100 basis points is now 32%. Looking at about a one out of three chances that the Fed goes super aggressive. And remember what I said, if they do, expect more red. Now, NEO, as we can see, it coming down with the market in general, uh, but still up a little bit, hanging tough at 22, and CVE dropping down as well. So that's only down 1.62. The big one I'm watching, of course, is Ethereum. For those who don't know, we do have Ethereum. We have Ethereum merge coming up, and you can see this thing got down there around 1580, back down to 1580 something again. Now we're at 1590. I'm watching this because I'm thinking about jumping on and adding. A big chunk. I told you I wanted to do one before the merge and after the merge. And so that's what we're looking at. Look at the clock based on the hash rate. It says one day, eight hours, 52 minutes. So we're looking at around one, you know, after midnight on Thursday. So, at, you know, we get up to midnight, one o'clock a.m. Thursday. We should be able to see this and we'll move into bigger and better things. Watch the fear index down to 42. We'll update to see if this changed at all. Yep, around 42. So you're starting to see everything that happens when you have this major sell-off. And just to share some of the pain, look at this. The leverage portfolio, which was barely down yesterday, got hammered. And I just want to share this because I'm not going to steer clear of the red days. What am I going to do? A lot of people asking, are you selling? Are you going to do this and that? Remember what I told you? I'm dollar cost averaging. I still believe that we're going to go ahead and see the positive catalyst before the end of the year, have a little run up, and then I will make that move. I believe we'll have that run up 10 to 20%. This latest uh, CPI number crushed it. That was not good. And so whatever rally we were starting, if that number would have came in good, we would have continued to see a nice little rally, but it did not come in good. It actually got hammered. And so now we see these stocks selling off, people getting out of risky assets, and where do we get to that point of capitulation? Does this continue south? Well, I think personally, that's all going to depend on the Fed. If the Fed comes out, just talks hawkish, more hawkish than they ever have. They take 100% Volcker and they're going to break the back of inflation. We're going to raise these rates to 100 basis points. We're going super aggressive. Expect this market, market to just absolutely get hammered down in continuation of red until we hit a point of capitulation. And, and and you start to see this inflation dropping because demand is just destroyed. And then as the supply chains continue to unwind and things get better that way, and then the Fed's getting too aggressive. Remember, I already think they're too aggressive now for the long run, and they're going to go even more wild. And down, in, down at the Fed, down in D.C., these meetings, it's one thing. Now, I have a lot of people. I want to make sure everyone understands. Why is inflation so hot? Well, th remember, the biggest spender of money is the government, and they have been loading out all kinds of free cash everywhere, student loans, deferment on student loans, paying off student loans. They had the stimulus checks for years. They've been dropping trillions and trillions of dollars. And so when you hear the Fed saying inflation is one of the worst in 40-something years, and then the government continues to spend, state governments are spending billions of dollars in stimulus, and now they got this student loan money flowing free. And everything's kind of coming to a head here because I do believe we get to January. And you hear Tesla cat meowing too. With those student loans coming due and they start paying, it's going to get ugly out there. Right? What do you think, Tesla cat? You think it's going to get ugly? Probably. So what I need you to do, take advantage of the free Moo Moo money down below. All you got to do is deposit $100 or more. Get yourself nine free stocks worth up to $20,000. And of course, we do have the Weeble money. All you got to do is put a dollar in, click the link down below, and you're going to get up to 12 free stocks. Plus, they got crypto over there. Come on over and join me at the Patreon as well. I have my portfolios over there. You can follow along. I have over a million dollars invested, and we'll see how we make out and be a part of our private Discord. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.